Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, we're going to continue on building our homepage or what's going to be our homepage. And today we're going to build this sort of animated bestsellers section. And it's got a, a little shop module and an offer on an iMac there. And when you hover over it, the background animates, which is a pretty cool effect really easy to do with the Divi theme. So let's get started. I'll go to a page that doesn't have that on there. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. So I'm, I want to put it below this section here. So I'm going to click on the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside, I'm going to have something like this two columns one a lot bigger than the other one in the first one I'm going to put our fantastic shop module and I'm going to give it a product count of eight and let's choose what we actually want to put in there. I want to put sort of product categories in there and I'll put desktops, laptops, and all-in-ones in there. Of course, this is entirely up to you. But don't want it quite as stretched out as that, so let's make it three or four columns. And to do that, we just need to go back up, roll down a little bit, column layout. Let's make it four columns. There we go, that's a bit more like it. And let's just do a quick bit of styling. Not much, I just want to make that writing a little bit darker. Add a little box shadow to the image and change that sail color to our sort of purpley color that we've been using here. So image, I'm gonna put a little box shadow on there. Of course, this is all up to you. You make yours exactly how you want it. And my little price badge, sail badge sale badge color, get my little hex code, pop him in there, fantastic. And the writing, I just want to make it stand out a little bit more because we're going to put a background in. So let's go to text. I'm going to leave it where it is. So actually let's just do the title text, which is fine. I'll make it semi bold. I actually want to make it black. I'm going to make the price text black as well, but I'm not going to make it semi bold because there's quite a lot of it in some of these. And that would make it break into two lines, which I don't particularly want right here. There we go, that's absolutely fine. So that's that little section done. And I guess we ought to give it a title. So let's add another quick module here. We'll put a text module in. And inside, all I want to say is best sellers. And we'll make this a heading, say heading two. Great. Now, if you hover over it, you can hit the little paintbrush icon. It'll take you straight to where you customize it. H2, great. And let's make it all caps. I guess we'll make it semi bold as well. Just make it stand out well. Fantastic. I don't know why I got that period on the end. Let's take that off. I guess I was trying to make a statement. <laughs> so save that. Let's just move this up on top. So I'm going to grab this module and just going to pull it up on top of our shop module there. Great, that's that taken care of. And over here, I kind of want to have an iMac on sale. So I'm going to use a blurb module for that. Fantastic blurb module. Uh, is it Mac 27 inch huge sale or huge savings perhaps move this so you can see what's going on let's put that in there nicely and for the text let's put in something like And we can say 
Oh, percent financing available. And that 0%, let's make that red. You can do that right here with a little A right there, or text color. That way we can do the title separately. And let's make it a, a heading four. That's fine, and let's also bold it out. That's great. Now, I want all my text to be in the middle there. That's great, and I also want that heading text to perhaps be blue. So let's go down heading text or title text right here. And again, you can just click on the little paintbrush beside it. It'll tell you which one it is. That's a heading 42. So let's make that blue. We'll make it capital. And we'll make it semi bold too. Great. I'm going to bring that size up till it's almost the size of the image on top there. something like that okay let's put our image in there content now I want this to obviously go to our Mac 27 inch whichever one that was let's say it's that one that's great now I want this to link to the product so let's hit the link button here we can do this with dynamic content again hit the little just hover over hit the little discs right there want it to go to a product and let's search for Mac there we go Mac 27 all-in-one and I want it to open in the same window great only other thing I'm gonna do is put a bit of box shadow around the whole module let's give it a little bit more padding on the bottom there Let's go to design, spacing, padding bottom. Let's say give it 30 pixels. Yeah, that's fine. I think everything's got enough room. I might take that heading text just down a little bit. It's just about to fall off the edge of that. So again, I clicked on the little blue paintbrush of it. And it's taking me straight to it. Let's take it down just a little bit. There we go. That's great. All right. Well, let's make our animated background for our section now we've got everything we need here so let's go into our section I'm going to go to design and I'm going to add some dividers top I'm going to select sort of curly divider I think this one here is what I used last time for the color I'm going to put it in my purple and for the height I'm going to put in say 50% initially this is that's great but the color is a bit too strong so let's go in and take the opacity down which is the right hand slider here so we want to make sure we can read everything through it that's great now let's do the bottom one I'm going to use a similar one but I'm going to use a blue color on it let's see something like that again the height I'm going to put in 50% and we're going to make the color blue this time and again I don't want the full color blue I want it to be a little see-through so I'm going to take the opacity or see-throughness of the color down something like that just to make sure we can read all of our writing nice and clearly okay for the actual animation itself when somebody puts their mouse over it I want that to get a lot deeper and this to get a lot higher so let's go up to, oh, I'm already here, divider height. Hover over where it says divider height. Hit the little arrow. Now for our desktop state, it's going to be 50. For the hover state, I want to make it 110%, which will spill out on, into the next module. Like that. As you can see, it's spilling out there. If you don't want it to spill over to the next one, I'll show you in a moment how you can avoid that with a little bit of CSS but I'm quite happy for it to do that at the moment so let's go to our top one and do the same thing and again we only want it to hover so we want to go with the little arrow 
gives us the two boxes, desktop and hover. Now hover, I'm going to do the same thing, 110. And I'm using percent here, not picks. As you can see, they're going to crisscross when somebody hovers over like that. But the default setting is 300 milliseconds, so that's going to happen way too quickly for me. I want mine to happen a lot slower. So let's go over to Advanced, Transitions, and Transition Duration. I'm going to make mine about a second and a half, or 1500 milliseconds, something like that. And again, of course, you do exactly what you want to do. Okay, we're almost there. Now this section, I just want it to fade in when we roll down to it. So let's go to the section, little cog, design, animation. And you can choose from a load of animations here. We're not writing any CSS or anything with this. Fade, so that's fine for me, but I want it to fade a bit slower. So I'm going to make mine about 1500 again. 1550 is fine. You can have it slide in, bounce in, and zoom in, flip in, fold in, and roll in if you wish. But for me, fade's going to be fine. So let's save this and see what we've actually got here. And of course, this being our shop module, all these products, images will link to the actual products. And this will link to our iMac 27 inch. OK, let's save. Little purple button, save our draft. Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder and go down to where we were. There's our little fade in. Now when we hover over it, those background dividers should sort of close together like a mouth. There we go. I think that's a quite nice little effect going on there. And as you can see, it's spilling over the top there. What I was saying before, if you don't want to do that, I'll show you how. Enable the Visual Builder again. Go down to our section. I'm going to go into the section. I'm going to go to Advanced, to Custom CSS. In the main element here, I'm simply going to write Overflow, colon, hidden, semicolon, in case I want to add some more. Save that. Let's check it out this time. and go down to a little section. Now let's hover over it. And as you can see, that is no longer visible in the section above. So we've hidden it. And I'll put that little bit of CSS below and you're welcome to use it if you wish. So there you have it. There's uh, how to make a nice little bestsellers section with an animated background. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.